Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardo. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh ooh. I said cognac, ooh ooh ooh. I'm a bubbly blonde, fabulously dressed to impress. Welcome back. I'm Cognac with Elaine, and we are here at the New York Auto Show. And I'm here with this representative of the cab of the future. Introduce yourself to the camera, darling. Hi, my name is Courtney. I'm a product specialist here at Nissan, and this is the taxi of tomorrow for New York City. Wow. Tell my audience about this taxi. Explain to my audience what this is all about. Sure. This is the first taxi that will be designed from the inside out as a taxi with the comfort and the safety of the driver and the passengers in mind. For instance, this will be the first taxi to be crash test rated with the partition in place, which is very important. We want to make sure all the passengers are nice and safe. And uh, the comfort of the driver and the passengers is of uh, the utmost importance to us. Would you like me to start with the driver? Yes. All right. The driver is the one who's going to spend the most time in the taxi. So, of course, he or she needs to be nice and comfortable. There's a standard six-way adjustable driver's seat, including lumbar support, nice breathable insert material, and some antimicrobial material as well on the driver's seat. Steering wheel mounted controls and a built-in navigation system are also very helpful. For the passengers in the back, it seats three across the back and one up front, if you would like, and those seats are also covered in the antimicrobial fabric. There's no hump in the center of the floor, so that middle passenger no longer has to figure out where to put their feet. Oh, yeah, it was just awful. I remember many times I used to take a cab, and that would be right in the center. It was so uncomfortable. Yeah, you don't have to worry about that anymore. And with most people having smartphones these days that they use for everything, the battery drains very quickly. So we have standard USB charging ports. There's two of them available. So bring your own USB cord, plug it in, charge it up, and you're ready to go. There's also a regular 12-volt outlet in there as well. Temperature is also a concern for most passengers in a taxi, so now you can control the temperature, make it warmer, make it cooler, whatever you like. It's nice. It's fabulous. You have your own controls. There's a carbon filter in the headliner to help absorb odors, which is a really great feature, and also a translucent panorama panel in the roof, so you can see all the sights of this beautiful city. Wonderful. That's a wealth of information right here at the auto 
Auto Show at the Javits yes, Center. Now, tell my audience, when is this new car going to be on the market? When will we see this new cab? Sure, you'll start seeing these enter the taxi fleet in October of 2013, and then it will take about five years for the whole taxi fleet to roll over to these. But eventually, it will be a nice unified taxi fleet. It's very exciting. It's very exciting information. I would like you to tell my audience where we can go on the internet to find out all about the new cab that we will be seeing here in New York City. Sure thing. You can go to NissanUSA.com for all the information you'd like to find. <laughs> and we'll be back in a moment, darling, with more interviews right here at the New York Auto Show and more cars coming up. Pink champagne kisses. In a city with a lot to see, there's one thing you can't miss. The New York International Auto Show at the Javits Center, April 6th to the 15th. You've got over a thousand cars under one giant roof. Never before seen debuts, cool exhibits, games, and even a flying car. So take your buddies, take your kids, or take a long lunch. But don't miss the New York International Auto Show, April 6th to the 15th at the Javits Center. Ten days only. Tickets are just $15. Technology, a whisper quiet ride, great fuel efficiency, and a fun to drive character. Dodge's engineers and designers took the award winning Alfa Romeo Giulietta with its Italian sports car characteristics and then improved upon that design to create a beautifully styled and well crafted car that is specifically designed for the North American driver. The Dark has been engineered for you. It's both longer and wider than its European sibling, and its ride and handling has been specifically tuned for our roads. This European-American collaboration has produced the new leader in the compact car segment. The Dart's dramatic and confident attitude starts up front with Dodge's signature vertical nose and signature crosshair grille. The headlamps and the tail lamps are designed around projector lamps and light-emitting diodes for a more compressed, sleek, and wider-looking graphic shape. The hood is accented by a W-shaped cross-car section that visually fuses the top of the fenders with the base of the A-pillars. And this is a new grille that will debut on the 2013 Dart, and it will be available in four different finishes, depending upon the model that you choose. And there are five different trim levels to choose from. The Dart is the first Dodge vehicle that employs an active grille shutter system, and that is going to reduce the drag on this vehicle by roughly 3 to 5 percent compared to a car that doesn't have that technology. And that's just one great example of the mix between beauty and functionality that you're going to find throughout this innovative compact car. And one of my favorite things about the Dart is how many different ways you have to customize it, starting with the profile of the Dart. You have three different options for door handles. You have body color, black, and then you have chrome that's over here on the limited model. You also have seven different tire and wheel combinations from 15 inch wheel covers to 18 inch cast. Picture on that leather wrapped steering wheel and that premium two tone leather sculpted seat is actually inspired by the fashion houses Balenciaga and Prada. On the bottom, take a look at those floor mats. They have their sport logo. And for the first time ever, the illuminated scuff lights to give you a true welcoming feel. The Explorer Sport is equipped with intelligent four-wheel drive and terrain management system. In the center console, you have a dial, and you can match that terrain you're driving on, whether it's normal, mud, sand, or snow. It's also equipped with intelligent six-speed automatic transmission with paddle shifters for you to optimize your drive passenger vehicle. And for the first time ever, inflatable rear seatbelts. There is an amber airbag inside that seatbelt, and we're going to keep you safe. Amazing high-performance exhaust system with polished tips and a towing capacity, ladies and gentlemen, of 5,000 pounds. Very impressive. And as we come around to the side, this is the world debut. The first time ever, the all-new 2013 Ford Explorer Sport. It will be in dealerships this Lady Gaga was here today. Hi. No, I'm just kidding. No, but we did want you to know that right over here, Bill Malone, who's a comedian, is about to also show off his, his uh, magic tricks. So. You're a pretty good comedian there, too. I know. I just came to me all of a sudden. I can't explain it, but, you know, it's the way you did it. Folks, also don't forget, you can test drive any of our vehicles and get a $50 cash card. So if you want to do that, just come speak with the product specialist wearing the silver name badges. We're going to get you an email invitation. Go test drive. You make 50 bucks. That's right. It's that simple. It's that easy. 
So thanks again for stopping by here at the Explorers Court. The magic of Bill Malone is about to start in just about oh, five yeah, seconds. So come on over. Upside down. To get it back up to the top, all we got to do is go up and down and you get the queen. Now I'm going to show all of you how to do it. Look, I'll bend it down the middle and I'm going to put it in there while it's bent. All we do is say up and up to the top it comes, just like all the Ford vehicles at the show. I'll do it once more. I'll put it face up in the middle. To get it on top, all you do is riffle. Of course, all these tricks are okay. You know what I hate? <laughs> Excuse me. Can I have some more applause? <laughs> show right here at the Javits Center and I'm here with this gorgeous rep. Introduce yourself to the camera. Hello New York. I am Rashonda and I'm here representing Cadillac today and we're having a great time here bringing um, these wonderful products here to the city of New York. Explain to my audience about this beautiful new car. Well right now we just launched our 2013 SRX and SRX is our luxury crossover sedan. Uh, we're really excited about the possibilities with this vehicle. You have um, great technology that we're using with our new Q system, which is our new intuitive infotainment interface. It's almost like having a tablet or iPad built right inside your vehicle. Also, we have great technology now when it comes to safety features. We want you to be safe inside your Cadillac. So we even have warnings that if you drive out of, drift out of your lane, or if there's a possibility of a collision, we're going to make sure that you're warned. So Cadillac is really thinking ahead when it comes to our customer and a lot of this cutting edge technology. It's a beautiful car, and I've been a fan of Cadillac my whole entire life. Do they still make a pink Cadillac, or they make me a pink Cadillac? Well, you know, a pink Cadillac, that was exclusively with Mary Kay. So you may have to talk to Mary Kay and see, but you know what? As long as they want a pink Cadillac, Cadillac is going to give one to Mary Kay. <laughs> Thank you so much, darling, for that wonderful little interview. And we're here at the Auto Show, and we'll be back in a moment with more interviews and more cars. <laughs> Keep watching, darling. There's more interviews coming up. Uh, pink champagne kisses. Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh, ooh. I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm a bubbly blonde, fabulously dressed to impress. It's been a Cry Baby Productions, darlings.